There has been nothing in the joint statement between the two countries which suggested that this issue has come up. And uh, although Mr. Trudeau in the past has said that he felt that, that the Chinese state firms should be allowed access to investment in Canadian natural resources sectors, I mean, you know, we have a lot of regulations which would probably um, uh, uh, prevail if, if there were concerns about uh, Chinese state behavior. but. Um, this, this matter has just not been discussed uh, as far as we can see from any of the evidence of the joint statement or any of the statements by the Chinese government. And Mr. Trudeau said himself that they weren't advancing on free trade. And it seems to me that, um, you know, a precondition for advancing on free trade is, is an assurance that, that, the, that the Canadian product will be able to get to the coast of BC and that the Chinese will, government will be able to get their trankers um, to the ports of northern BC to to obtain that uh, that oil and send it to Asia, so none of this uh, seems to have been part of the of the visit, which I, I find disappointing because, as you say, that seems to be where the primary Canadian interest is. If we're going to engage with China, uh, you know, we want to be able to promote prosperity, and particularly um, in the West, both for the canola and for uh, our uh, oil sands oil, which um, which. You know, we have wonderful reserves of and which China needs. And certainly anything we can do to discourage China from engaging more intimately with Iran has got to be a good uh, side benefit to this as well. Thanks for watching. Click here to never miss a Rebel update. Want even more of the Rebel? Well, click here to become a premium member.